hockey fans, and welcome to this week's look at the standings, week 20. Yes, 20 already. March is coming up. Uh, there's only a month and a bit of hockey left before the playoffs start. Uh, the Florida Panthers still in first place, haven't moved now. It's the full right across the board, first place, 75 points. So this for real. It's uh, Sometimes you wonder about these little streaks that teams go on. But they are certainly putting it together now. They've won 5-3-2 and two in their last 10, won their last game. And Yager has surpassed Brett Hall with 742 goals. He got two goals in the last game, one to tie it, one to pass him. And uh, congratulations to him. I uh, can't believe it. He's eh? 42 years old. Unbelievable. The Tampa Bay Lightning, 70 points. Uh, they jumped up six spots this week. Uh, they're 6-4-0 in their last 10, won their last three. Boston Bruins, uh, they're up and down. They won their last game. They're 6-3-1 with 70 points as well. No change for them. The Washington Capitals, uh, 90 points, best in the NHL still. Top of their division, 8-2-0 in their last 10, won their last three games. And I was looking at Ovechkin. He's got 38 goals. Uh, he may not make 50 this year, but is this a sign of a more responsible Ovechkin? New York Rangers, uh, 74 points, 7-2-1, won their last two. They're doing well. And the New York Islanders, 69 points. They went up a spot 6-3-1 and one in their last 10, won their last game. The Detroit Red Wings, 69 points. They dropped five spots, 4-3-3, four, three and three, lost their last four games. That's why they've dropped all the way down to the uh, wild card. Pittsburgh Penguins, 68 points, went up a spot 6-3-1, and one, won their last game. They're back in the playoffs again. The New Jersey Devils. Uh, dropped three spots, 65 points, and 4-4-2 four, four, lost their last three. Carolina Hurricanes, 64 points, 5-3-2 and two, lost their last game. Philadelphia Flyers, 63 points, 4-3-3 three, and three, won their last game. Ottawa Senators uh, went up a spot, won three games, and that's all they earned for themselves. 62 points, 5-5-0 um, five, five and oh in their last 10 just noticed that Carlson leads the league with 54 assists. Montreal Canadiens, 60 points. They dropped the spot. Things just aren't getting better there. 4-6-0 won their last game. The Buffalo Sabres, 4-3-3 lost their last game. And they've also lost O'Reilly out for three to four weeks. Uh, that's not, well, not going to affect them in the standings, I'm sure. The Columbus Blue Jackets, 6-2-2, two and two, lost their last game with 53 points. And, the, and they're coming back slowly but surely. And the Toronto Maple Leafs, 3-6-1, uh, lost their last three. That's exactly where they want to be. They want that top pick. And now for the Western Conference, the Chicago Blackhawks, 81 points. Top in the West, uh, went up a spot 5-4, won in their last 10, but lost their last game. That was a stadium game. The Dallas Stars, 80 points, dropped a spot 6-3-1, lost their last two. This, and they're struggling. I watched that game against Boston, and they're not playing all that well. St. Louis Blues, 79 points, 7-2-1, and one, won their last five. The Los Angeles Kings, 72 points, 4-5-1, and one, won their last game. The Anaheim Ducks, 70 points, went up a spot, 8-1-1, one and one, won their last five. They're rolling along. They, they were out of the playoffs not long ago, and they have just surged right in there. I mean, they were as low as 14th at one point and find themselves second in their division. San Jose Sharks, 67 points, dropped a spot, 6-3-1, and one, lost their last game. Colorado Avalanche, that's another team that was out of playoffs for a long time, but now they've been there for the last five weeks. They remain wild card, mind you, 66 points, 4-5-1, and one, lost their last game. Nashville Predators, uh, 65 points, 4-3-3, three, and three, lost their last game. Minnesota Wild, wow. Uh, they had that stadium game yesterday, and I got to tell you, under their new coach now, they've won four games in a row. A completely different team. They seem to be flourishing. 
Uh, it, it probably helps that this guy coached a lot of the players uh, that are there in the AHL, so he's familiar with them and what they can do. And he's probably rearranged that team to suit him. Uh, it's made a difference. Uh, they're, they're almost back in the playoffs. They're only one point out. And it, uh, unbelievable, yesterday uh, they had a hockey day in America. But how many players have come out of Minnesota? You could literally make a team with spare players uh, just from the players that are now in the NHL that have come out of Minnesota, it's it's just incre- it's an it's a good hockey state. Uh, that stadium was full yesterday. Arizona Coyotes, 60 points, dropped a spot, three six and one in their last ten, lost their last game. The Vancouver Canucks, uh, no change in their. Uh, position in the standings 58 points 3 6 1 won their last game Calgary Flames 55 points 5 5 and 0 lost their last game Winnipeg Jets 54 points 4 5 won the last 10 lost their last game and the Edmonton Oilers continue to be in the bottom with 50 points 3 6 and 1 lost their last three they're going to have to do something in Edmonton eventually. They just they just can't keep being in the bottom. They have good fans, but it's, it's getting ridiculous. Anyway, that's it for this week. Until next week.